he would have used it if you didn't get there soon. No, oh, absolutely. He was looking to lose it. So that I think just that interaction uh, saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Well, I want to congratulate you on a job well done. It's, uh, the professionalism, I just left the hospital, and I have to tell you, the doctors, the nurses, everybody over there was incredible. And at numerous hospitals. Thank you for doing that. Well, they were really, I met a lot of the patients, and you saved them, and the doctors, nurses, all of the people at the hospital wow. saved them. Cab drivers were great. Cab drivers were asking people, telling people, get out of the car, and they were grabbing one instance where a young woman said, the cab driver just threw people out of the car and said, look, you know, and hopped in and took them to the hospital. There, there's really a lot of stories that are great heroism. Yes. Absolutely. Tremendous number of stories. But what the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police did is, uh, but I've always known you were good, right? You know that, Jerry. I've always known you guys were good, but you really proved it. And uh, he, he's a sick, demented Man, have they been able to find out anything else? It's a little bit soon. Uh, it's still a little bit soon. Um, we have a couple good leads, uh, and we're, we're working our way through that. We're going to get the answer. Yeah, no, there might be something there. But the wires are screwed up, but uh, there might be something there. Well, again, I'm going to say a few words to your group, but I, I just wanted to come in and say hello and congratulate you. I was a fan before this. You know that. Everyone in this room knows that. A big fan before this, and uh, I guess if you can be more of a fan, I guess I'm even more of a fan now. But you showed the world, and the world is watching, and you showed what professionalism is all about, because that was that was about as fast. You, you know, some, something like that could take place for hours and hours and hours, and you can't figure it out. And uh, you should be very proud, Sheriff. So, um, just a matter of identification, uh, Officer Hancock there at the end, to your right there, he was the first SWAT officer to engage the individual. And then Officer Bitsko there, uh, the canine officer, uh, that assisted with that initial engagement. Um, officer Morris and Officer Perth there were the two officers I described that were partnered with uh, the security guard. So, he did a good job, didn't he? He did a good job. Now his his option would have been tried to do it himself, but if it doesn't work, you wouldn't have had the information, maybe, right? Right. He did the right thing. He did. We relied on uh, them for the information. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. So everyone else uh, seated and behind the press there were were integral in saving numerous lives. Um, um, the gentleman right to your left, that firefighter right there, was off to be uh, watching the concert and he remained. Uh, to save several lives. So I think it's important for uh, it's important for you to know that every single person in here was instrumental in life-saving measures. And these two young ladies here were our dispatchers. Um, so they're probably the, the most important people in the room. Calm and strong. Um, yes. Shot. If you ever have the opportunity to listen to the radio traffic, uh, these two young ladies are amazing. There was a third young lady, but she decided to go to Cabo. Uh, <laughs> she needed a break. <laughs> and a margarita. <laughs>